Welcome back to the Inner Quest podcast. My name is Neve. I'm so glad that you're here. To begin this episode today, um, I just want to preface that, you know, everything that I share is memory that has emerged through me as a direct result of my own inner experiences in my connection to the natural world and the world around me. And by no means is this uh, to be translated as a, as a a truth is merely my truth and my own experiences and my stories and and so as we adventure deeper together in this podcast I simply invite you to extract what you need and leave the rest as you essentially form your own story of life and your own inner experience of your potential but today I want to really dive deep into the physiology of the body to understand the mechanics of the water in our body, the water in our cells. I want to discover and explore um, what memory is, how memory is held in the body, and why I believe that many of the ancients used um, a very sophisticated form of technology in the form of pictograms and symbols to synthesize vast complex intelligence and information for a future time where those who had the eyes to see, the ears to hear and the awareness to translate these symbols and would bring them alive together. And that's what I feel part of my role here is, is to bring alive a, an ancient yet an ancient body of wisdom for this time. Um, A body of wisdom that is being laying dormant, um, not only within our human genome, um, but also within the earth. And that has the codes and the information that we require right now to support us in this greater evolutionary leap that we're moving through. I know that um, in these conversations, I do dance between the sciences, the esoteric wisdom, um, nature, natural law, and so many other modalities and philosophies. Um, But essentially, it's just my way of being able to arrive at a place where we can begin to explore who and what we are as human beings through a greater unified lens, no longer um, limited or no longer limiting our perception of who we are through one lens. And so, you know, sometimes I ask myself the question, or has culture limited us from exploring our true beauty as human beings? And and that is a question that we all get to ask ourselves. Um, And so in this space, there are no, there are no limits. We explore We explore all facets of our human nature through many different lenses and hopefully we will arrive at a place where we have a new understanding of not only who we are, but essentially who we are are evolving into. There are many people right now, there are many different um, teachers, philosophers, scientists, geneticists that will say that we are at the very pinnacle time in the evolution of our humanity and uh, we're about to go through a whole new um, evolutionary cycle and this is a very very exciting time and I know that when we can look out into the world today it um, in some ways seems a contrast to that and we it sometimes feels like we are in living through an era of control of compression of contraction Um, of war, of separation. And yes, while that may be true to a certain degree, that compression, that constriction, that tension is creating the right alchemical, the right energetic, the right kinetic energy that's required for this greater transmutation, this greater um, genetic mutation to take place at the most finite animate particles within our DNA. And this is what we're here to bear witness to. Welcome to the Inner Quest podcast. My name is Neve. Join me on this audio adventure experience where we will explore all facets of our infinite human nature through my curious conversations and contemplative audio quests. Let 
the adventure begin. I want to explore this idea that our body, our body itself, is made up of is made up of water, and um, water in itself can store memory. Now, water in itself holds the imprint; it holds the picture. Um, when we feel an emotion, when we visualize an idea, that forms essentially a picture in the mind's eye. It it forms. Um, an image in or what we, we call the realms of our imagination. And that inner picture becomes imprinted in our the waters within ourselves. And so everything in our outer environment essentially is imprinting um, the waters in our cells. And that can actually be, if you want to perceive it, positive or negative in its origin. But essentially to understand that our water in itself is a very powerful conduit to hold, to crystallize, to store, to store feeling, resonance, frequency, the imprint of time and space in our physical bodies. And those wa- that water then is passing through the cell membranes um, and, and there's information that's becoming encoded that is informing our cells of the information in the field around us. And so there's this direct communication that's occurring between our cells, cell to cell, but also um, not only between the cells and the water in our body, but this greater fabric of energy and frequency and vibration that is passing through the empty space between every particle, every atom, uh, every molecule in our outer environment. And in fact, um, if we were to really get down to it, there is an empty space, an empty space or black hole within within the most finite particles of matter. And that empty space is connected to all other empty space or black holes within all other particles, within all other um, dimensions, with all, within all other atoms, molecules that exist throughout this universe and beyond. When we think about it in that way, we are connected throughout that. We are, we are all connected to an infinite space that exists within all things. And it is through that space that we receive and can access this greater fabric of vibration, of intelligence. And, and it is that empty space that facilitates our connection to all of life and that is why I am very very passionate about creating spaces that empower people to be able to access their inner space and you will hear me speak about that a lot and that is because I believe that when we can master entering into our inner space and through a form of a multi-sensory meditation practice which is not just meditation This is a full bodied experience where you engage the all facets of your human intelligence, the mind, the heart and the gut brain together with your feeling and sensing faculties. And you enter into a full bodied experience of your anatomy, of your um, physiology, uh, of your genetics, of your energetics. And, And through that, you begin to develop the spatial awareness and acuity to connect to this vacuum and space within you. And while it may sound so complex, uh, in truth, it is so, so simple and it can can occur within one breath. But what I wanted to create space for in this dialogue today is this idea that there is a beautiful symphony and connection between the waters in our body in the ability for the waters to pass through the cell membranes for the information to to transfer through the field of osmosis from one cell to another. And, and when we feel a certain emotion, when we have a f- certain experience, when we connect to, when we connect to a certain uh, fields of information in our outer world, 
depending on how we receive that information, depending on our perception of it, depending on the emotions we feel at that time, the body will absorb, absorb that information and it will crystallize it in the body. So it will absorb it into the waters of our body, but it will cr go into a crystallized form and it will be essentially stored as memory. Now, it is beyond the scope of this conversation today to discuss and explore where that memory is crystallized. But what I wanted to speak into is that my memory is that we are constantly in, in we are constantly in communication with our inner and outer world and our body is this the, the crystalline waters in our body is so sophisticated that not only do we are we currently right now crystallizing the memory of like creating a timestamp in the imprint in the waters of our cells of what we're currently experiencing right now on this planet the intensity that we're experiencing in this world our current world view our beliefs everything that's shaping our culture our perception of reality everything that we're living through everything that we have lived through everything that we are perceiving and seeing, sensing, feeling, everything is becoming imprinted right now, is being crystallized and it is, it is being stored in our DNA. And, and the beautiful thing is, is that this is always occurring and it has always occurred. So that would presuppose that a, across time, space, dimension, that um, there is a crystallized memory that has been uh, stored and held in the memory within our bodies that has been essentially crystallized and passed down through our DNA. And so when we often look to this idea of this, this idea that we've inherited the memories from our ancestor, we've inherited the, these genetic traits, we've inherited, sometimes we feel we've inherited the genetic trauma, the memories, from our ancestors and in other ways we can say we've inherited the gold, the secrets, the hidden truths and no matter what way you want to perceive it, it essentially it is through the mechanics of the waters in our body, through the physiology that we have become the storehouse of infinite information and what blows my mind is that not only are we the storehouse of the, the infinite um, realm of experiences that the human being has lived through, that all your ancestors have lived through on this planet. We, we also contain the memory of the imprint of the environment that we've evolved through. So as you know, this earth has been through many evolutionary phases. There's been many civilizations that have existed on this planet. And we now store the memory within the waters of our body of these civilizations, of these cycles, of every form of life that has existed, that we have evolved through. We hold the memory, we hold the imprint and we have the ability to access this information through the waters within our body. And this is what we're here to remember. And this is what origin is about. Origin is a space where we get to unlock this original genetic blueprint. And it's not something that is far-fetched. It's not something that is unattainable. It's something that we can access right now through your inner space through your own source connection, through a very, very, very simple, simple process that is so familiar that even when you reconnect with this, it will feel like the most natural thing that you've ever done because it is, because this is who you've always been predestined to become, someone who has the capacity to remember it all. I'm interrupting this podcast episode to let you know that if you would like to access the full Inner Quest podcast experience, be sure to subscribe to our email list for free, where you will access free bonus podcast episodes and more direct to your email inbox. Go to origin.earth now and subscribe for free. Now, back to the episode. This memory that I'm speaking to, because I know as I'm speaking, this is activating so much in you. It is actually essentially the energy that's moving through your body right now. It's activating the memory through the sound, through the frequency, through the vibration of my voice. 
And that is another thing that I know that I'm remembering because in my own Celtic ancestry, my old Celtic lineage is that we held a memory of this. We held the memory of the power, the potency of the storyteller, the person who carried the word, the frequency that could speak to the language of the body, that could speak to the waters of the body, who could speak the right frequencies of the right memories to help unlock those dormant pictograms, those dormant myth, myths and stories, but also, most importantly, that memory so that it begin to circulate, it can begin to awaken within you, within all of us at this time. When I speak to the waters of the body, we must not forget the waters of the earth because one and two are not of the same. And so while there is a shift that's occurring within the waters of our body right now, there is a very profound shift in the elements within the waters of the earth. Our awareness is being invited to connect more intentionally to the waters. And not to see the waters as a separate element to the self, a separate element to the body, but as an extension of it. Because their seas or oceans or waters or rivers are essentially the physical manifestation of memory. These waters hold the memory of our species, our planet. They hold the memory of everything that we as a planet, as in this, this whole entire ecosystem, has evolved through. And, you know, right now and over the next 10, 20, 30 years, we are going to... We are going to rewrite the entire his story, history of our our planet and the history of our humanity, because perhaps what we've been told is only a sub fraction of what has occurred. And there may be a reason for that. There may be a reason for that. But as our awareness expands, as we begin to connect the, the, the true memory that is encoded deep within our waters, within our cellular memory, and that awareness will expand far beyond any parameters, any limits, any matrices that have kept us in this limited perception of who we are as human beings. And we'll begin to rewrite the history. And in fact, we will be invited into the mystery. It will no longer be his story. It'll be my story. My story. Because the mystery, the my story, can only be unlocked within you. And, and so at this time, you may be feeling the call to the waters. That maybe you may be feeling called to move to the waters or settle near the waters. Or to be able to see the waters, walk by the waters. And this is because we're being invited into a new calibration with the waters. And essentially, you may be invited into a new relationship with how you drink water, how you connect with water. And you may begin to understand that you have a direct relationship with water, how you can influence it, how you can actually infuse and imprint new memories, new frequencies, new information into that water so that then when you drink that water, you are in this mutually benefiting relationship with it. You're infusing intentions that are healing and supporting the body. You're uh, infusing intentions that are influencing how you feel, how you think. You can also put prayers and intentions in your water that you give to your animals, you give to the plants and the the, the loved ones around you. And so there's essentially, we, we're seeing now water is this permeable element that has always been the communication system between cells, between self and others, and also the world around us. And perhaps, you know, that'll invite us into where else does water exist? And so this is a conversation. We're only just scratching the surface. But the reason I wanted to speak into this is because there is essentially an idea that these these mythical timestamps, these places such as Lumeria, Atlantis, all of these these mythical stories that we've heard throughout all different cultures and tales, this true is true that um, these myths, these tales too, are, are imprints, they're stories captured in the collective psyche, but they're imprinted on the waters of the body 
they're imprinted in at a cellular level, but they are crystallized in our DNA. And so that is why for me, what I am awakening, what I am remembering, particularly through my own Celtic or pre-Celtic origin, is this memory of how I and others, how now we can activate those mythic memory, the true mythic memory, the true meaning of what those stories represent, but also to unlock that information that pertains pertains to those time-space dimensions, those evolutionary phases on our planet, and to be able to bring that information alive in the present so that it can support us with the information we require now to face the challenges in our world, to evolve through these challenges. This podcast is brought to you by Origin, an online space designed for you to explore your infinite human intelligence and potential through your own inner experience. Go to origin.earth and explore our library of inner quest pathways to begin this journey for yourself. And be sure to subscribe to our email list where you will access bonus podcast episodes and more every week direct to your inbox. Now back to the episode. This is going to be a great revelation to many who are listening right now. But what if these myths, these stories and these tales, what if these stories were merely pointing to an aspect of your human memory, an aspect of your human genome, a dormant memory, a timestamp that has been waiting until this time to be awakened. And that rather than seeing them as this past time, this past place, where we lived in complete connection and unity with the world around us. Or even when we perceive Atlantis, this time of highly sophisticated technology where we lived so connected to these advanced energy systems and and, and healing modalities that like, what if essentially these stories were, were merely just a, a technology that we could utilize to access the memory of this information, the memory of these abilities in the present. There's not necessarily a past time place that we need to remember, but it's actually a, a source of information that we get to access right now. So as we embark on this journey together, I will tell you many, many stories of my time, my times when I travel to different sacred sites, not, not really knowing why I was going there, just trusting this inner calling, but arriving at these sacred sites and and seeing various symbols encarved on the walls or at the entrance points of these sacred sites and becoming very curious as to why there are certain symbols that appear in many different places around the world at different timestamps, at different timestamps in the evolutionary phases of of life on the planet. And yet these, these pictograms, these symbols seemed to be very similar in their origin. And like, what if, what if in some ways our ancient, our ancient past or the, the, our ancestors from our ancient past knew, knew what these symbols were encoded with knew that these symbols were actually a very advanced technology. And in fact, they knew that they built these temples, they built these places, not necessarily <laughs> as um, a sacred site or a burial chamber or, or all of these things that we we are led to believe. But essentially, they created them as monuments, as timestamps, as symbols, so that our future selves would connect with them, would... It, and it would unlock the deep waters within our body in this deep innate memory. So there is a lot to uncover here. There is a lot to remember here. But the beauty is that that journey is already unfolding. While we can enjoy and bask in the exploration of all of these themes and topics, 
and and question and explore what all this really means the real journey will be to not get lost in all of that but instead to ask ourselves the questions is how can I invite myself into such a present experience within my physical body? How can I become so present in the physical animate world right now? How can I become so present with my breath in my connection to my body, to my feelings, to my senses, so I can create space to have a direct experience of everything that I've just shared? Because without direct experience of this, it's merely just a fantasy. It's merely just a fantasy. So that is why I say embark into the wild unknown of your own nature. Create inner space to experience that which is already you. To experience the infinite potential that is emerging, that is awakening within you right now. Embark on your own inner quest. And so I invite you, if you, no matter where you are in your journey, whether you see yourself as a beginner in the realms of self-discovery, of the exploration of your human potential, or you see yourself as a deep diver, no matter where you are in your journey, I invite you, if you are curious, to dive deeper into these topics, but most importantly, to embark on your own inner quest then come and explore origin. This is a space that is only just beginning. And I envisage over the next few months and years ahead, we'll be creating a vast landscape of inner quest experiences where you can explore. Explore all of these realms of your human intelligence for yourself. And my intention is to share this this map and this blueprint with you as a companion and all I ask is you to to come with me on that journey but also to be in to also just create space to bask in in the magnificence of who we are to celebrate the magnificence of what is unfolding within us around us at this time and if you resonate with what I'm sharing, if um, this speaks to you, if you feel a visceral physical response in your body as I share this, um, then please comment, share. I want to hear from you how you are receiving this. What are you remembering? And the greatest way that you can thank me is by simply sharing this podcast with others because I want to ignite this, the, these stories. I want to ignite this memory and I want to create space for a diverse conversation because it's essentially, it's not through one or two that we begin to unlock this greater inherent memory and potential. It's actually through a collective field of, of intelligence, the collective field of osmosis and um and that is the beauty so as the waters begin to unlock within one they begin to unlock on another and so forth and that is the power of these spaces so please go ahead share please like this podcast and and if you feel called to please give this um, podcast a five-star review on apple podcasts it would greatly help um, this podcast to reach more people I also hope to invite some incredible guests onto this podcast to have some amazing conversations. And the more people, the more listeners that we have here, um, then the greater the guests that we can invite on. So thank you as always for being on this journey with me. Until next time.